Hey guys, welcome to Scum. Uh, just a quick little video. It's not going to be a very long one. Uh, there's been a little bit of an update to Scum, and um, there's some good points to it. Actually, it's not it's not a bad little update. Uh, there's a DLC, new DLC came out. It's uh, this guy here, Raymond Cruz. Uh, you guys might know Raymond Cruz from uh, the Breaking Bad series, so it's pretty cool. They've got this little theme going on lately with um, with these Hispanic actors. You know, we had Danny Trejo and and everything and and now it's kind of like a breaking bad sort of theme so ah, maybe we'll see maybe we'll see walter white or his, or his wife or something i don't know maybe they'll keep going with this breaking bad theme kind of cool i like breaking bad kind of an old show now but good show good show always like breaking bad uh oh we need jesse pinkin pinkman now don't we need to start making some of that sky blue but yeah, here he is, is Raymond Cruz. Uh, it's a fully model character, all the hair, all the skin, everything's new, completely custom. Uh, the clothing is really cool. It's really well done. It's got this, uh, you know, it's Mexi Mexico, New Mexico type vibe. Kind of like where Breaking Bad's from. I like the hat. The hat is really nice and it's got this, it's got this snake on it, which is kind of, I think that's like the Salamanca family thing, isn't it? Like the whole uh, rattlesnake kind of texture in the head and everything it's really cool it was on the uh it was on the boots of the salamanca twins too the guys with the axes uh but yeah this is really cool really cool dlc the clothing is is really well done like it's really high quality textures um as you can see from the boots there just uh extreme detail down to the stitching in the soles really nice um the denim's really nice too it looks like a real denim <laughs> it's really well done. I like the shirt. You can see all the, all the little. I don't know if this will show up on on YouTube, but look at all the patterns. All this, it's it's amazing. They've done a really good job with this. I'm really happy with this. Uh, I'm glad that they put so much uh, time and and attention to detail in these new characters that they're making, because um, you know it's a labor of love. It seems they definitely put their time into this, and um, it's you know. I, I wish they'd focus on other things, but I mean, if they're going to do it, it, at least it's really good quality, right? So the face, um, let's just take his hat off because that, that big old hat, it uh, kind of obscures, obscures the light from his face, as it would. With another cool thing, the shadows in this game are really good. But yeah, um, I think if the lighting was better, you could really, I mean, it looks like Raymond Cruz. It really, they did a really good job. Um, it's just the lighting is kind of messing it up, it's making him kind of look like Michael from, from GTA, isn't it? But, uh, I think they did a really good job with this. It, it looks, uh, it looks really good. Jeez, it really does look like Michael from GTA, though, doesn't it? Maybe a little bit of Trevor in there. But yeah, that's, uh, that's Raymond Cruz from Breaking Bad. It's really cool. Like to see it. Let's put his hat back on. Uh, you also get this pocket knife that comes with him. It's really, uh... It's not a big knife. Like, I don't know if it's going to be that great for combat. But, uh, yeah, you'll be able to... Uh, why can't I? There we go. There we go. Now you can really see that blade. I don't know if it's going to be great for combat, but at least you'll have a crafting tool right from the outset. And as he's fully voice acted, too. Like, you can hear. That's definitely Raymond Cruz. And um, if you hold down tab and you go to say... He's got all kinds of stuff that he says. Uh, Are you stupid or something? I might be. I might be stupid. Stupid for buying DLC on a game that's not finished. Uh, but <laughs> it was really funny, wasn't it? Thank you. Thank you for that. It makes me feel good when, you know, my humor is reciprocated. But yeah, Raymond Cruz, really cool. Um, Let's throw a puppet at him. Let's throw a puppet at him. Spawn zombie. Um, let's, let's, let's see if this knife is any good. Very short. Yeah, very short swing radius. Obviously, it's just a just a pocket knife. Um, yeah, missing a lot. Missing a lot with it. All right, guess don't bother going for headshots. Just go for body shots with this. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, don't get in fights with this. Uh, that was really rough. That was very hard. Uh, ooh, yeah. 
But yeah, that's Raymond Cruz, guys. He's freaking awesome. Oh, no, my shirt. Uh, that's too bad. It was a lovely shirt. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make this quick, and I'm not doing a very good job of that, am I? Uh, that's not the only part. Uh, there's some other parts, too, so we'll get to those. All right, so the other part to this update is the Rager now has armor, and it's um, it's all right. It's not bad. Uh, I like the kind of scrapyard look. The only thing I don't like is this fender. I think that's uh, absolutely hideous, and um, this this would have been just fine. I don't I don't know why they put this big ugly fender <laughs> flare on here. Um, one or the other, guys. One or the other. We need some we need some symmetry here. This is very eh, I don't know. I mean, maybe it'll grow on me. Uh, the cool thing about this armor, though, is you've got two variants. Light. This is the light variant. The other one was the heavy. But the coolest thing about this armor is, and I don't know if this was true for the other vehicles, but you can paint it. You can paint it, and if you have the DLC, you can put camos on it. And that kind of changes the whole vibe of it. So now we've got, like almost an APC looking kind of rig going on and then the fender the fender kind of works then but by itself that fender's the fender's terrible but yeah it's pretty sweet um you can do the same with the light I just didn't hear for sake of time but yeah it's really nice you can even when the these parts are off you can individually paint them and then add them later so it's pretty cool I like it um you can come up with all kinds of different schemes now and um you won't have this like junkyard color armor kind of clashing with your paint job. You can blend it in and it and it makes it look a lot better. It, it makes it look a little bit less uh, throw together. You know what I mean? It makes it look a little more purpose built. So it's kind of nice. It's nice to have options. Options are always good. <laughs> but yeah, that's the uh, that's the vehicle armor. It's pretty nice. I like it. Um, I the only thing I'm not happy with is they didn't give you any bumpers no front bumper which is a very strange strange decision in my opinion um because they do give you a rear bumper um and like the others it's pretty it's pretty nice it's it makes sense right if you had just scrap metal lying around and you had to cobble some armor together this is probably about how it would come out right like if you even got the tail light lens covers and all that but yeah no front bumper kind of Kind of meh. I don't know. Maybe we'll get one later. Bit of an oversight, if you ask me. But who knows? I'm not. Uh, I'm not one of the devs. Um, and it would seem lately that they they don't listen to us anyway. So who cares, right? There it is. That's your armor. If you don't like it, tough. <laughs> so the armor does slow you down a good bit. Just keep that in mind. Uh, acceleration is definitely a lot more limited with the pickup truck. And the brakes are are even worse. So just bear that in mind. You have to change up your driving style a little bit with this. All right, we also got a good amount of bug fixes and some quality of life additions. I'll throw those up there. You can pause it and read through them. There's a there's a good bit actually. It was a pretty good pretty good amount of fixes. Um, but uh, unfortunately, nothing really in you know as far as the puppets go, nothing significant. Um, they've gotten rid of the kind of uh people were calling it chumba wumba the the zombies kind of meandering towards you no matter no matter where you go uh supposedly that's gone that's not a thing anymore um but it's just a band-aid it's not it's not what we want i've talked to a lot of people in the community a lot of content creators a lot of casual players and nobody i'm not nobody there's obviously going to be some people but a lot of people don't want this puppet spawn system um and me uh, me most of all <laughs> i really hate it i i absolutely despise it i think it's really bad for the game i don't know what they're thinking with it i don't know why they're not listening to the community which is the most frustrating part they're they're not talking to us about it they're just ignoring it hoping it'll go away and they're going to keep running with it that's kind of what i'm i'm getting from the devs um and if that's not the case tom slav uh all you guys then tell us Tell us it's not the case because that's what you're showing us. You're showing us that you don't care, that we're not happy with it, and you're just going to keep running with it. But, um, but yeah. So now the zombies will spawn in bushes. Um, <laughs> it's just a cheap fix, isn't it? It's just a, it's just not enough for me, my opinion. It's just not enough. Um, and, uh, speaking of the zombies, 
one of the other things that they've added, which is actually useless unless you PvP exclusively, is uh, the binoculars now have variable zoom, which is nice. Um, it's nice if you PvP and you're looking for players, but uh, if you're looking for puppets, you ain't gonna find them because they're not there, guys. The puppets are not there. Uh, there's an imaginary line drawn around all the POIs. There's a circle, probably. I'm not sure exactly how the programming works, but there's a there's a threshold. And once you cross it, the puppets start to spawn. So if I'm up here in the in the woods and I'm looking down, I'm not gonna see anything. There's not gonna be anything there to see. So these, these right here, worthless. They're worthless to us PvP players, or PvE players, rather. So what are we gonna do with these? That. Garbage. We're gonna sell them to the trader still. Uh, we're not gonna pick them up. They're too big. They're not worth carrying. They don't do anything for us. Uh, and that goes with all sniper rifles too. Uh, anything with a scope, more than 4X, worthless, pointless to have. No, there's no sense in carrying it because uh, if you're not hunting players, you're not going to see anything. You're not gonna see animals. You're not gonna see puppets. Uh, so it's there's no point in having zoomed optics on PVE server. And um, you know, a lot of people that play PVP, they're probably happy with it. They're fine. They don't really mind. But there's a huge community in Scum that uh, that this is what they do. They they battle the elements. They fight for survival. They they fight the puppets. Uh, you know, they they build bases. They try to get a truck running. They you know the there's a lot of survival in in this game, and that's why we love it. That's why we love it. The metabolism system, the crafting system, the health system. That's the stuff we love. Uh, not all of us care about PvP. And um, these, you know, we got this this update here. We got raid protection. Um, that's great for the PvPers. That's awesome. But uh, you're alienating more than half of your community by uh, by ruining the puppets and then only catering to your PvP community. Uh, if you want this to be PUBG, just say so. This is no longer scum. It is now PUBG light and um, open world PUBG with uh, you have to eat food. That's that's what it's becoming. And um, I'm sorry I didn't mean for this to turn into a rant, but that's how I feel. That's how I feel, you guys. And um, I can't help how I feel. <laughs> this was this is uh, this is what we've got now. I really hope that they uh, they listen to the community. They listen to me. They listen to Lathias and. Um, and they make some changes because these are not, this is not going well, <laughs> scum devs, scum devs, this is not going well. I don't know if this is like a Jagex thing or if this is some in-house uh, tomfoolery, I don't know. But um, yeah, like the truck armor, it's cool. I like Raymond Cruz, it's cool. But um, we we need to, we need to get back to our roots here. We, we need to... Uh, Start listening to the rest of the community. The the lion's share of the community, really. Most of us are PvEers. We're not PvPers. And, um, you know, we feel left out. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this, guys. Uh, this was an update video turned into a rant. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to edit it out. I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to put this in. Um, and maybe the dev devs will hear. You know? I don't know. Maybe I'm, a maybe I'm alone in this. Maybe I'm being too picky. I don't think so. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Get out, download the update, buy the DLC, support the devs, tell them how you feel about the game. Tell them what you want to see, uh, whether they want to hear it or not. And that's going to be it. Love you guys. Bye-bye.